you. I just want to make this quick little video. Um, um, I've just been seeing some things, and I just felt like I needed to talk on them a little bit. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the first video, and then we'll talk about it. So, first thing, thank you to Sky Australia that does this stuff. They make a lot of videos. Um, and some of these videos are brought up by Little Tip Talk as well. I want to say this, you know, I've been seeing a lot of just, this is what I had talked about not too long ago when I was saying that the pe these people are going after our children and they continue to go after our kids. And you see, once again, I hate always bringing this up, but now, after 19 years of working with children, I can tell you this concept that children are just like, just because they accept something means that it must be good. I think that's what it is, you know, and I don't think the overwhelming majority of people think this way. I don't. Um, but I do feel like we still need to speak against it just because of how dangerous it can become. It's such a slippery slope. And so seeing kids dance around with the flags and everything it's to the point even when you know we saw the uh we saw that police force who put up the american flag and then right underneath the american flag was a pride flag it's just kind of like they get their own dang flag like we're, we're pledging allegiance to this group of people that really aren't doing anything special they're not if you're if you're gay if you're lesbian if you're trans that, that doesn't make you like above all you know and I think what we had started slipping in the very beginning is that we thought it was so encouraging. We thought it was because these people are being um, uh, liberating. They're doing something that we all couldn't do. We couldn't be ourselves. That's what had started happening. Because when somebody used to come out as gay, they'd be like, wow, he can be himself. I can't even do that. What? What do you mean you can't even do that? Why? You know? When I think when people say I can't even do that, like I think people don't want to come out as people who say stuff like that. I think those are the people who are like, oh, I got this really weird, weird thing about me and I wish I could come out because I actually like to <laughs> I actually like to kiss dogs, you know, and I wish I could come out and have a whole group of kissing dogs. I'm just saying that's just kind of what it is, because any any person who doesn't have something like that crazy is like me, like the, seeing a gay person come out is like. Like, I don't feel like there's anything about me that's like, wow, I wish I could come out and talk about it more. I, I, I don't feel like I have that anymore. I will admit at one point in my life that I was getting really into this group, right? I was really deep into this whole pride thing because I felt like I wanted to be different. I wanted to be a part of something. So I was a part of a whole group and everything. And then I just realized after a while, this is not really a group of community. This is just a group of people who just want to be whatever right whether that's bdsm or all these other kind of stuff they just want to be you know they want people to be open to whatever they're doing no matter what that's my big problem you're not talking to these people you're not trying to help these people it's just i feel this way now validate me all right um let's go on to the next part here so what is happening here is um, a, a a part of a parade. They're giving out these prosthetic prosthetic penises. Check this out. <laughs> and that's what we're talking about. So, what about being gay or lesbian? All right or trans, or what all these letters are now. What did they got to do with giving out penises and sex toys, right? These are prosthetic penises, so I'm assuming these are penises you just put onto yourself, you know? They just like dildos to me. Like, what is that about? See, that doesn't sound like sexuality. That sounds like you're trying to push sex onto us, right? And that's where I start having my problems. You know, it seems like the LGBT, and I'm not saying all of them, right? But it does seem like this community cannot stand on its own two feet anymore. And I cannot button this shirt up. But it doesn't seem like they can stand on their feet anymore. And it feels like what they had started as a group that was just supposed to be like, hey, you're gay, let's talk about it. It's turned into, hey, you're gay. 
Now let's push it on to everybody, you know, forget the button. Let's push it on to everybody that we can. And we're going to force them to do whatever. You know, that's what I've been seeing. That's kind of what I've started to see. What I believe has started to happen is, man, these people are going to do whatever we tell them to do. If we want to do this, you're going to accept it. And I think the America has just finally said, you know what, enough of this. Okay, we got to push back. Because at some point, y'all can't have it all, baby. You can't. You can't say I'm gay and then just be able to just go in the women's bathroom. You can't just say, well, I feel like I'm this, so I should be able to be around children. Because that's that's also where the slippery slope goes. Because when people start identifying as toddlers or kids, where do we draw the line? Are we going to allow adults to go into classrooms now and be in there and be a kid again and be able to go play with kids? And what about bathroom? What about being changed that's the kind of stuff that we're trying to avoid. And I think we're finally starting to see more pushback on this. All right. I just wanted to show one last disturbing video. Uh, actually, two more. This is just another proven point here. What does that got to do with being gay? That is a kink. BDSM is a kink. That is a completely different thing than just being gay. And that's what I think some people, even in the LGBTQ community, community is even starting to push back to. It's like, man, it's like every time they people think about us, they think about sex. Because you got all that's what is that's what's happened to the LGBTQ, right? It started off as kind of a somewhat of a community, but what it ended up turning into was just people who are sexually deviant wanted to infiltrate this and they felt like the lgbtq was the place to do that where they could be sexually whatever they want to right all right let's continue oh yeah this one right here so proud of uh, Sister Roma and her work uh, in the community, and I'm proud of California for standing strong uh, in, uh, to support uh, LGBTQ people. We're just going to skip right next to the next part. Watch this. The group known as the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, involved with such artistic and sensitive gems as uh, this one. <laughs> So these that that same person we just saw is part of that that whole demonic group of people who are against Catholics. You see how they're having they're representing somebody dancing on the cross sexually. Like, listen, man, look. I understand it's people who don't like Christianity. I understand it's people who don't like Catholics, such as myself. I understand that kind of stuff, um, and I can understand people who are maybe skeptical or blah 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 blah. But this is just absolutely ridiculous. How can they do something like that? And they call us the hateful group, right? How can they go ahead and say, you know, what, your religion is a joke. We're going to show two men dancing on Jesus who you would believe had died for your sins. Somebody who you worship, somebody who you um, see as the meaning to life. We're going to take that and publicly display disgrace upon it. And they're heroes in the state of California. How are they heroes? Right. If we were to, if Catholics were to come out and do the same thing, I don't know how you would do it, but make fun of transgender in some kind of ridiculous way. Maybe show them messing with children or something in some kind of weird skit. Right. We would be looked on as demonized, but they can do stuff like this and it's praised. Right. Now, once again, I don't think this is the general consensus. I think most people are like, no, no, that's not right. But. We have to talk about it because when we use, here's the problem. When people used to say, why do you care? And it's not even that big of the population. Most people aren't transgender. Most people aren't this and that. The problem is, is if we don't say something, it only becomes a bigger problem. Because when we weren't saying anything, we were like, oh, let them do them. Now look what's happened. Now we got people twerking in front of kids, which we're about to see. We got grown men twerking in front of kids, lap dancing on kids. Kids, we saw that pride parade either last year or two years ago where we saw that little kid dancing on a pole in front of grown men. Like, it's because we weren't saying anything that it got worse. So we can't make the same mistake twice. Because if we make the same mistake twice, it will be 
way worse the next time. I promise you. If this ever really starts to catch these people. And I, and it's not the... I want to say this. It's not the people who are... The, the most dangerous people in this whole situation are honestly the people who don't care. Because people who are like, I'm not going to get involved. And this is what I was talking about in another video of mine. Where I said most people want to stay kids. Right? Now... People in their 20s, they, they're pretty much children now. And then people get into their 30s and still act like they're in their 20s, right? Still acting very childlike. You meet people now today who are 35 and older, like, I still don't have my stuff together. I still don't want to do this. I don't want to get into politics. I want to live free. It's like, dang, it's been 35 years. How long are you going to stay in that kid-like frame of mind that you want to just be free? At some point, you got to grow up. At some point, we got to start taking responsibility, okay? At some point, we do have to get involved. I'm not saying you have to be a politician, and I'm not saying you have to be deep into politics, but to just keep your mouth shut in every situation because you don't want to be involved, those are the most dangerous people because these are the people who are going to let this kind of stuff sit by. If it wasn't for people on YouTube and people in the media and people on live TV actually speaking up against this, if they just kept their mouth shut and said, ah, whatever, if... If there weren't people who were really di diving deep into this, we'd be screwed, right? Because most people don't want to do anything about this, and that's what happened before. But now we're seeing so much more pushback, especially what we've seen in companies going woke and then just absolutely b bombing. Because pe people are starting to get tired, but people, what, what happened was the people who didn't care, who just said, let's just wipe it off, they got ignited by these people who started speaking out about it. Thank God for that. But the most dangerous people still to me are the people who don't want to do anything. Because it takes all of us to make change. We can't just have 10% of people saying stuff, 10% of people being against it, and then not 80% of people who just, ah, whatever happens, happens. Because, that, because then it comes down to the voting. Then it comes down to who's in power. And whoever's in power is going to take over everything. All right, I wanted to show uh, one last video here. Uh, I want to talk about this right quick. So there's a, uh, apparently California has a bill that was, uh, and I think this has been going on for a while. I think I had talked about this a while back, but I'm not sure. Uh, California bill would charge any parent who doesn't affirm transgenderism with child abuse. Now, the thing with California, that bill may actually pass, but that'd be crazy because I think that happened up in Canada. And that also happened if you watch What is a Woman? A guy who got his kid taken away because he wouldn't call her a boy. Listen, man, like they want our children so bad. If you don't see that, man, I, I have to question you, your morals or something like, dang, I can understand not being necessarily all this way or all that way, but you don't even care about the children. Like, parents can't even say anything to their kids anymore. All right. There is a video from Gays Against Groomers that I want to just uh, end with here. Realizing children at drag shows. No pride in... Just ...the radical trans agenda is. There is no pride in sexualizing children at drag shows. Stop it right there. This is what I wanted to show. This is the main reason I made this video. This grown man is dancing on this little child with a skirt on. You can see their butt cheeks right here, right? You can see a little bit of the butt cheek right here. Uh, shout out to AdLibs and TikTok. Um, that was one of the main things I wanted to talk about, right? What are we doing? How could we let that happen? Let a grown man dance on a little child sexually and this kid doesn't even look comfortable look at that this kid has their hands up like this like oh my god how did i get into this and i'm assuming this is a little girl right i don't know though because the, the clothes look like a little girl but that could be a boy I, I, I don't know doesn't really matter at the end of the day um and this is what we're supposed to accept this is what we're supposed to be like oh this is okay these people i'm sorry i have to say this and i've waited till a little bit into the video these people are evil. I don't care what you say. I'm not here to say that every drag queen, every drag queen sex worker is evil. I'm not saying the whole say the whole LGBTQ is evil. I'm not trying to say that people who, obviously people who are transgender are all evil because they're it's gender dysphoria. I mean, it is a mental illness. 
Um, and it's not just to them because it happens with people in other forms and fashions. People don't like their bodies. They don't like this about themselves. It's mental illness. Um, but I want to say this. At some point, we have to call evil evil. You know, I normally try to stay away from the evil word, but I can't when it comes to this good stuff. People who target children, dance sexually on children, and sexualize children, at the end of the day, they are evil. And there is no getting across that for me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's evil. Evil. You know? You know, the Bible says, you know, it, it, if you were to do this kind of stuff to a kid, it'd be better to tie a stone around your neck and toss yourself into the ocean, man. That's how serious this stuff is, because kids are so vulnerable. Like, when, I've been working for children for so long, and I've, I've, I've disciplined kids. I've talked to kids. I've been through, you know, allegations, you know. I, I mean, like, meaning kids have come to me and told me that other men have done stuff to them. Kids have come to me and told me other kids have done stuff to them. It's a sick sick little thing we have going on here and it it just it, it just you can see how it destroys these children when i see what happens to kids who are abused by these adults what happens to them their personality i was talking to a, a young child uh, last year talking to somebody who had gone through something because somebody decided to put their hands on this young kid i had this kid bawling because this kid was so confused. This kid was so destroyed. This kid had no idea what they wanted to do with their life. And they're getting, they, they, whatever they wanted to do, they didn't want to be them anymore. Because them was weak. Them got themselves, you know, touched by adults. So they do anything in the world they can to change whatever that is. And it destroys these people. And I'll say one more story. I remember, uh, uh, I had heard his story. I didn't know the I didn't know the kid, but I'm very close to the kid's close family, right? The kid ended up taking his life because he ended up getting touched by adults when he was a child, right? Took his life. Couldn't handle it. Went spiraling out of control. And that's what's so evil about all this. They think it's so this little kid right here that we just saw, right? Let's show it right quickly. That little kid who's getting danced on, we don't have no idea what the repercussions of that's going to be. What the repercussions of having a man's... Uh, having a man's private parts touching the child's arm. Look at that. You can see this. Look at the... You can see because they're not wearing anything. So the, gen the genitals are all over this child. You know, so it's kind of like... Wow. Like... What is that going to do to that child? You can see the child is clearly uncomfortable. And even if the child looked comfortable, that is even worse because they've been so brainwashed. It's evil what we're doing to the children, and we have no idea what the repercussions are going to be. And then when this kid, if uh, I'm praying to God that this doesn't happen to this kid, so I'm not even going to put that. If a kid goes through something similar to this and they turn out to be, they go crazy in their 20s and 30s, and we have to look back, and be like, well, that it's because we allowed all this stuff to happen. Because we thought we were being free sexually. No. We're destroying lives. It's sick and it's disgusting. We have to keep protecting the kids. Let me know what you think.